preserving our heritage through music, language, and culture. Exceptionally educational and entertaining. We are Notes of Slovakia online radio show. With your host, Mike Wojtyla of Cleveland, Ohio, USA, and... Slavomir Wojtyla, zo Slovenska. We present for you Slovak music, polka, folk, pop from the past, present, and everything in between. We have three great features in every show. Learning Slovak language, Slovak spotlight, past and present day Slovakia. Tri skvelé výhody, ktoré získate počúvaním tejto relácie. Naučíte sa slovenský jazyk, vyzdvihnete svoju slovenskú osobnosť a dozviete sa o histórii a súčasnosti Slovenska. You can tune us in right here on notesofslovakia.com our YouTube channel and on 247polkaheaven.com If you like us, like us on Facebook facebook.com backslash Notes of Slovakia Stay tuned for an action-packed Notes of Slovakia show Welcome to the show today This is Mike Waitilla Thanks so much Dakujem for tuning into our program today. Vitajte pri našom programe Hlasy Slovenska, Noc of Slovakia. Programu vás prevádza Slavomir Vojtila z Bratislavy, hlavného mesta Slovenska. Here on Notes of Slovakia online video and radio show, we are preserving our heritage through music, language and culture, exceptionally educational and entertaining. Zachovanie nášho dedictva cez hudbu, jazyk a kultúru. Výnimočne vzdelávací a zároveň zábavný program. Sme Hlasy Slovenska, Noc o Slovakia, internetové rádio a online video. Let's begin our program as we always do with our Slovak sampler. A Slovak polka, Slovak folklore number and a Slovak pop song from Slovakia. First, our polka. From the album Brass Band Parade, let's hear Miner's Polka featuring the Prague Radio Orchestra. Banická polka od Kovárovic predstavuje orchester Pražského rozhlasu. Thank you. 
folklore number now from 2015. The folklore group from Slovakia is called Musika. Pieseň od kapely Muzička Oj na hori cvitelen z roku 2015. Oj na hori cvitelen po dolini stelicia pušou môj milý na druhé selo hej, môže tam i v ženicia. Tak mu 
Our pop tune right now, Dance to Me, released here in 2019. Vydané na Slovensku v roku 2019, Lukáš Adamec, Tancuj mi. Krásna a neznáma, zviera a v nej dáma, vábiš ma kryvkami, súboj je pred nami. First feature, learning Slovak language. Hello, Nazdar, ahoj. I am Slavomir Vojtila and I will accompany you through the Slovak language course. I really hope you enjoy our show, Notes of Slovakia, full of music and positive mood. Welcome to our language window. On the 29th of August, we celebrated the 75th anniversary of the Slovak National Uprising, part of the Czechoslovak anti-fascist resistance during World War II and one of the most significant events in Slovak history. By the way, my grandfather was a soldier in National Butter for Freedom too. I will introduce you few Slovak words and phrases about this topic. Slovak National Uprising Slovenské národné povstanie Slovenské národné povstanie Čekoslovak exile government in London Československá exilová vláda v Londýne Československá exilová vláda v Londýne Guerilla Partizan Partizan Soldier Vojak Vojak Paratrooper Vysadkar Vysadkar Commander Velitel Velitel Volunteer Dobrovolník Dobrovolník War 
Vojna. Vojna. Battle. Bitka. Bitka or boy. Squat. Mužstvo or chata. Mužstvo or chata. Slovak army. Slovenska armáda. Slovenska armáda. Antifašist resistance. Protifašistický odboj. Protifašistický odboj. Ofenziv. Útok. Útok. Defenziv. Obrana. Obrana. Liberate. Oslobodiť. Oslobodiť. Liberator. Osloboditeľ. Osloboditeľ. Armored vyhajko. Obrnené vozidlo. Obrnené vozidlo. Armored train. Obrnený vlak. Obrnený vlak. Tank. Mm, simply tank. Tank. A plane. Lietadlo. Lietadlo. Fighter aircraft. Stíhačka. Stíhačka. Bomba. Bombarder. Bombarder. Gazolin. Benzín. Benzín. Weapons. Zbraně. Zbraně. Rifle. Puška. Puška. Ammunition. Strelivo. Strelivo. I believe this lesson was very informative to you, so be in touch with us and our show Noc of Slovakia and don't hesitate to write us a message when you will have any questions, comments or ideas what you want to know or hear in our next show. Dakujem Slavomir. Another great learning Slovak feature. Let's get back to polka music right now. Delson Jack from Youngstown, Ohio, USA and the Monday Morning Polka. Pondelko verano.
Folklore music time right now. The Urban Folklore Ensemble has existed in Slovakia, the eastern half of the former Czechoslovakia, since 1957. They perform songs and dances in period costumes. The um, Slovak Folklore Ensemble Urban from Banka Besterica will be presenting a free concert on Thursday, October 10th in Cleveland, Ohio. Urban was the winner of the competition on the Slovak TV program Zem Spiva. There is limits, limited uh, seating available and you must register for your free tickets. Simply uh, Google Urban in Cleveland and then uh, register for your tickets. And this is going to be held at the uh, Pilgrim Congregational United Church of Christ, 2592 West 14th Street in Cleveland, October 10th. If you're in the Cleveland area, this is a great opportunity to hear and see the Slovak Folklore Ensemble Urpen. Let's hear a number right now featuring this group. Slavo? Thank you, Mike. Jore Jore se zvolo od folklorneho súboru Urpin.
Our second feature, Slovak Spotlight. Dobry dzień, mili posłuchaci, meaning good day, dear listeners. I am Dr. Michael Kopanik, or Kopanic in Slovak, and I will be speaking on this segment of Slovak Spotlight. I am a history professor and teach at the newly named University of Maryland Global Campus. Today I will be presenting the first part of a talk about the 100th anniversary of the renewed Smartica Slovenska, which is the Slovak Cultural Society. On August 4, 2019, the Matica Slovenska commemorated the 100th anniversary of its rebirth after World War I. August 4th is known as Den Matice Slovenske, the day of the Matica Slovenska, a Remembrance Day in Slovakia. Ceremonies commenced with Christian worship services in Martin, formerly Turchansky Sveti Martin, with a Catholic Mass, a Lutheran service, and Byzantine Catholic Church services. They continued in front of the Roman Catholic Church with the unveiling of the bust of Jan Vanovic, a former chairman of the Matica Slovenska and an activist in the organization during the 1930s. A cultural program followed and concluded with a festive procession to honor patriots at the Slovak National Cemetery, Narodny Cinturin. Cinturin is cemetery. According to the chairman of the Matica Slovenska, Marian Geshbar, he said, the restoration of the Matica Slovenska is one of the most important historical mi milestones in our modern history, not only for Matica members, but for the whole Slovak nation. The fate of the association also symbolized the resistance and existence of the Slovaks as an independent nation in Hungary. It was abolished in 1875 during the violent Magyarization but immediately after its inception, and with the participation of several original Matica members, the young Czechoslovak state proceeded to revitalize the Matica activity in Slovakia for political, ideological, and cultural reasons. It contributed significantly to recognizing Slovakia's legal status in the first Czechoslovak Republic. The Matica Slovenska aims to raise awareness of the contributions of Jan Vanovic. Uh, the Matica chairman, Geshber, explained this about Vanovic. Quote, he advocated improving the material situation of the Slovaks, who at the time were affected by post-war poverty. He urged land reform, the rebuilding of war-torn schools to provide education, especially for the children from poor families. The scope of his policy was visibly national, social, and democratic. Vanovic advocated the gradual decentralization of the state and equal rights for Slovakia in the First Czechoslovak Republic. He served as a founding member of the Committee of the Restored Matica Slovenska, vice chairman of the Slovak National Party. He signed the Declaration of the Slovak Nation and he served as a member of the Slovak National Council and the Revolutionary National Assembly. From 1931 to 1938, he headed the Matica Slovenska through the throes of the Great Depression, yet the organi organization still survived and even thrived. Let's look at a little information about the origins of the Matica Slovenska so you can understand why it was so important that it be revived after the establishment of an independent Czechoslovak Republic. The Matica Slovenska first formed in 1863 when Austria permitted its founding. Hungary still did not have autonomy. It only got that in 1867, so it could not force its laws on other nationalities. The establishment of the Matica Slovenska came about after years of efforts by Slovak patriots to promote Slovak national life and to document Slovak contributions in culture and academics, especially through the founding of libraries and museums and sponsoring cultural events. It aimed to raise Slovak self-awareness through educational activities and make other peoples aware of Slovak cultural contributions. The name of the Matica Slovenska derives from the Serb word for source or a mother bee. The idea of establishing volunteer cultural associations became widespread in many Slavic countries in this era of nationalism during the 19th century. 
and Slovaks wished to protect and promote their own culture and history. The Slovaks first founded a cultural association known as Tatrin in 1844, but Hungary abolished it and the 1848-49 revolution disrupted cultural activities. The first Matica Slovenska, 1863-1875. The Matica Slovenska first formed in the city of Turciansky Sveti Martin. The Austrian Emperor Franz Josef responded to the request of the 1861 Memorandum of the Slovak Nation and permitted the Slovaks to found their own national cultural institution. Over 5,000 Slovak national patriots gathered on August 4, 1863 and celebrated its formation. Donations from Slovaks and the Austrian Emperor financed the new institution. Slovak founders selected Stefan Moises as its first chairman and Karl Kuzmani, Jan Orsag, and Jan Franciski Rimovsky as vice chairs. By 1873, the Matica counted about 1,300 members from across Slovakia, including many towns, libraries, schools, and various associations. And I might add that many of the founders were also uh, ministers or priests because that was the intellectual class among many Slovaks since the Magyars uh, didn't allow that much uh, education for most people. Although it was first prohibited from involvement in politics and forming local branches, it quickly evolved into the people's representative institution and a symbol of Slovak independence. The Matica Slovenska pursued gathering funds to promote Slovak culture and laid the basis for a national library and archives and a museum of sciences in Slovakia. It also published educationally enriching material for the Slovak public, including practical manuals, calendars, readers, and academic works for scholars. Likewise, it promoted the formation of amateur theater and singing societies. The society also funded research on Slovak culture and subsidized grants for scholars who published their work in the first Slovak academic journal, Letopisi, which means annals. To house artifacts and provide a place for reach, research, the Matica built a Slovak National Museum in Turciansky Sveti Martin. It began preparing a place for studies in linguistics, law, and history, philosophy, mathematics, ethnography, and other fields. Soon it became the central organ of Slovak national life. And this talk will continue on our next Notes of Slovakia program, Notes of Slovakia number 18 show. In conclusion, let us listen to the first verse of Ktoza Pravdu Hori, Who Burns for Truth. The Slovak patriot and Lutheran pastor Karl Kuzmani wrote this Slovak hymn after the revolution of 1848 for the men who fought so bravely for Slovak rights. It became a Slovak hymn which the Matica Slovenska celebrated. It also was a favorite song of General Milan Stefanik, whom I spoke about in an earlier program. Thank you, Dr. Michael Kopanik, and we'll continue on with his talk on our next program. The American hit in the 1970s by John Denver, Take Me Home, Country Roads, was also a big hit in Slovakia. Slavomir, who are we going to hear? Pavel Bobek, Veď mne dál. Každá prý však síl svůj skrývá. Když v dálce, každá má svůj cíl, ať je pán mnou 
lhát a nepoď tisíc mil, let mě dá cesta má. Všech cestách, všechny znám je, jen tam mám i zbývá. Je jak díky, co jsem měl tak rád, plná žáru bývá, hned za samý chlad, veď mě dá, cesto má. Poslední napíšu přijdu Jméno své a pod ní, že jsem žil hrozně rád Písně své třemi v kapsách zbydou Dám si bandou cvačku hrát a půjdu spát A půjdu spát Teď mě dá Next on board on our Notes of Slovakia program, a Rusin folk song adapted and performed by a Slovakia-based band called Herza. This group is popular right now in Slovakia. The song comes from the cross-border region of northeast Slovakia, southeast Poland, and western Ukraine. Stefan, Rusinska ľudová pieseň v úprave prešovskej kapely Herza z ich albumu Neskrotený. Listen up, friends. This is a good one.
Our third feature, past and present day Slovakia. I'm Slavomir Vojtila and I'm in the village Hronsky Benjadik, where is placed the very old monastery first mentioned in the 1075 and today known as Basilica Minor of Saint Benedict. Please follow me. Monastery in Hronsky Benjadik is one of the most beautiful Gothic buildings in Slovakia. Pursuing the historical documents, King Keza II decided to found the monastery in 1075. The oldest part of the monastic complex was the Romanesk Basilica consecrated in the above mentioned 1075. On its foundations, the surviving Gothic Basilica of St. Egidius was built in the years 1346 and 1375. The monastery was rebuilt into a fort supposed to resist Turkish raids in 1537. Walls and cannons bastions were added then. The fortified monastery, built in a narrow valley of River Hron, was a strong protector of very important road, where gold, silver, copper, salt and woods was distributed from rich mine towns as Banska Štiavnica, Kremnica and Banska Bistrica into the other parts of kingdom, especially to Nitra and Vienna. Gold and silver extracted in the hills in Slovakia was used for paying the military forces against the T Turkish occupation army. The Osmans tried to conquer this fortress many times. In 1599 they burned the village Hronsky Benjadik, but the monastery resisted. Monastery in Hronsky Benjadik was in the medieval times a very famous Christian pilgrim site. During the sanctification of the church in 1483, the king Matthias Hunyadi, known as Corvinus, gave the monastery very important gift relics of Christ blood. It is piece of mecrem with drops of Jesus blood. King received it from the Pope Paul, the, Paul II as the acknowledgement of his fight and struggle against the Turkish army and Czech heretics known as Bratrici. By the way, King Matthias and his father Janku Huneodara in Slovakia known as Jan Hunyadi, Duke of Transylvania, were very strong protector of Hungary kingdom against the Turkish occupation. Thousands and thousands of pilgrims traveled to visit the monastery in Hronsky Benedik from all Europe and praised to the blood of Jesus Christ. This relict is still there, and if you want to pray and please for help or help, and you really believe the power of this blood, Follow the footsteps of pilgrims and do not sidestep this very important church and monastery. I believe you enjoyed this short feature. Past and present day Slovakia. Dakujem Slavo. Let's get back to music right now from Slovakia. It's folklore time. Mladost a krása. Young and beautiful. Folklorny súbor Lučnica, Slovensko.
Polka time once again here is Vlasta Mudríková tam okolo Valala.
Well, this is Mike Voitola from Cleveland, Ohio, USA, and this is going to do it for today's edition of Notes of Slovakia. Dakuyum, thank you so much for tuning into our program. We encourage you to tell your family and friends and relatives all about our program, Notes of Slovakia. So be in touch with us and our show, Notes of Slovakia, and don't hesitate to write us a message when you will have any questions, comments, or ideas what you want to know or hear in our next show. Me and Mike will be very appreciated to reply you. If you miss some show, you can find us on our YouTube channel or give us a like on our Facebook page, Notes of Slovakia. And of course, also heard right here on 24-7 PolkaHeaven.com, the world's polka network. Have a nice day. S prianím pekného dňa sa s vami lúči Slavomír Vojtila. And this is Mike Vojtila reminding you one more time to view us. We have a video presentation of all of our programs as well on notesofslovakia.com. Thanks for listening, folks. May God bless. Closing out with Druba Trencin, folklore music, Slovakia style. <laughs> Ale